I'm going to serge the short ends. to pin it on to the bodice. I'm going to line up the side seams. So the side seams for the peplum piece and the side seams for the bodice piece. Throw a pin in it, come around to the other side and do the same. And then I'm just gonna kind of make sure it all lines up. And it does. Okay, so the part that I gathered is the same length as the bodice piece. So you can throw a couple more pins in it if you want. You don't have to. You can throw a ton in there. Whatever is easiest for you. I found it super easy to pin a ton when I was learning. Now I very rarely pin at all. Um, my sister learned alongside me. We kind of taught ourselves to sew together. And she pins everything like crazy. Um, and so we're always teasing each other because she pins a ton and I don't pin at all. Um, so it's kind of like a little battle we have going on. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to stretch this a little bit longer. So this peplum piece, the front one ended up being a little bit shorter than what I needed, which is fine. So I'm just going to shift the gathers along again. And there we go. Now it's the same length. The gathering stitches are pretty easy to play around with. Pin it on and I'm gonna take it over to the serger and just serge all the way around. to the part where the placket is you just want to make sure that it's lined up nicely on the underside as well as the top and that nothing shifts that's also why we basted it in place but you still want to really hold it straight or it can get a little wonky tail I'm gonna grab my embroidery needle wherever I threw that down blends in with all my other needles where did you go oh, okay. and I'm just gonna feed the tail through the eye and then bury it between the layers and making sure that it's going in between the two layers so that you can't see it at all And normally your needle will just glide right through, but sometimes with gathers it'll get stuck on it. And you just have to kind of feel for it. Feed it through. Pull it. Cut the excess. There we go. Okay. So there we go. Everything stayed nice. And then you'll go through and pull out your gathering stitches. It should pull out fairly easy. Just like it was fairly easy to gather them in the first place. Um, and just kind of stretch it along and then pull on them and typically they come out all right it's easier with woven than it is with knit because the knit fabric will stretch and pull with it while you're pulling the thread as where woven stays stationary but either way it should be pretty easy to pull them out My 
kids are fighting so bad today. I'm just using my seam ripper to kind of help me along pulling out the threads just to lift them up so that I can pull on them okay. we're almost there go through and hem the bottom so you just fold it up three quarter inch and I know that it wasn't originally included in the directions it was just an accidental oversight but you do want to hem the peplum I mean you could leave it unhemmed if that's your preference uh, but it does include a hem allowance in the pattern piece so I'm just gonna go around throw a few pins in at three quarter inches my pins are getting old so they all start to uh snap on me when i pinch them I think the peplum would also look really pretty if you did um, a lettuce hem on it. I'm super obsessed with lettuce hems right now. I do it to my camis and my ruffle shorties because it makes it like super, super extra ruffly. I'm totally obsessed with doing it. So I'll probably end up doing a lettuce hem on one of my future peplums too, just to see how it goes. it by about an inch and you know the drill by now head over to the back pull on the bobbin thread it's gonna pull these loops up and then go ahead time in a knot trim them and the threads where you started you can just trim those because they're already locked in by that one inch overlap Last thing that you're gonna do is your buttons on your placket. So you can use buttons, snaps, you could do a faux placket, you could omit the placket at all and cut the front bodice on the fold instead and you would be done at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and just put buttons on but not do any buttonholes so I'm just overlapping it and I'm going to lay my buttons out on top. I don't know which ones I want to do yet, I think. Yeah, I'll do those ones. Let's see, so I'll do three. I think that looks good. I also have dark wood ones, I think. Yeah, two dark ones. Okay. So I'm going to do one kind of near the top, one kind of near the bottom, and then one in the middle. You can measure these to be exact. 
I'm just gonna eyeball it like I do with everything. That looks pretty good. So I'll throw a couple pins in to hold this in place. Way too early, and it's just so sad today. All right, and then hey, Carson. All right, and now I'm gonna sh switch out to my needle for a single needle so that I can do these buttons. All right. 